Hello Creative! It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S. Girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here with a quick tip to help you design your brand. Does this background make my tip look quick? Now quick tip videos are made to focus in like a laser beam on that one thing that you've been trying to learn in a program. This way you don't have to wade through long tutorials to get to that nugget, that one thing that you've been struggling with. But first, how would you like a free cheat sheet? I thought so. Head over to graphicsgirl.com to get your free Illustrator cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. Just click the link below. To scale or resize an object in Illustrator, you use the Scale tool. After you have your object, you grab it by the lower right hand corner and drag it in, holding the Shift key down to keep it proportionate. That will scale your object to its center or belly button of the object. To reset that point and scale it to another point, you click down on where you want to scale it to or from and drag out. You can see now the belly button has been moved to the upper left hand shoulder. If I click on the right, now I can reset it and scale to that point. I can reset it back to the belly button by clicking on the center point. Now when I scale, it does it equally from the inside point. Another way to scale is to double click the scale tool. By double clicking the tool itself, the scale dialog box appears and here you have the option to scale it uniform or non-uniform, meaning the horizontal and vertical amounts can be different. They don't both have to be the same number. You can preview your scale prior to clicking OK. Choosing uniform would do it both uniformly and include the scaling of any strokes or effects that I have on the object. Now let me show you what it means to scale it when it has a stroke applied to the object. If I have my rectangle here and I increase the stroke or border on it to about seven points and then I rescale my entire object, I'm going to do it by the dialog box method. If I should have the scale strokes and effects not checked, then it will not scale my stroke proportionate to the overall size of my box. So in general, you want to keep it checked. Here, my stroke stays at 3.5 points. Now I want to scale my object 200% with scale strokes and effects on, you'll see that my stroke weight has also doubled to seven point. Things you wanna keep in mind when scaling in Illustrator. If you found this video helpful, give it a like, share it with your friends, okay. and please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.